So today I'm changing the brake pads on Honda Acti. So first off, you want to lift the front of the truck off the ground. So I use the center lift point. I always use a two by four just because I don't want to risk damaging anything, but I use the center lift point in the front. I put the jack stands underneath the torsion bars here. You can change these bushings. That's a good time to do it if you're gonna have it apart. I lower it down on the jack stands and then I remove the front wheels. So the next step, is to pull the slider bolts and they're here. So your brake pads are right here. This is your rotor. It's a good time to change it as well. It looks like whoever changed these pulled the alignment bolts right here, um, the tapered bolts, and they didn't put new ones in when they replaced these. That's a, a no-no, I would never do that. But it looks like someone else has. So we're gonna pull these alignment pins next here. Once you break them loose, they should come out. That's how long they are. Set it to the side. I broke the bottom one loose. Just gonna remove it. So now what should happen is the center of the caliper where the piston is, should be able to slide it off like that. And then I set it up here because you don't wanna put tension on this brake line. So these pads are actually pretty fresh but they're very noisy and the, the owner does not like them. So we're gonna pull them out just like that. And so what we're gonna do is these sliders or this brake hardware, we're gonna clean it really good and then we're gonna lube it up. All right, so now that we have it clean with some brake cleaner, I'm going to lube up where the brake pads actually slide inside the hardware. You don't want to go too heavy because once it heats up, this can get kind of runny. You can get this at any parts store. It's just brake lubricant. Some people use anises. And then you're going to take your new pads. You're going to slide them in like such. Okay. Just like that. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your caliper and you're going to push the piston in inside the caliper as much as you can. See, this one's pretty far in because those pads had a lot of meat on them. And so what I like to do is put just a little bit of lubricant where the piston contacts the back caliper, the inside caliper, and where the front knuckles, these two pieces on the, on the caliper touch. That's so that micro vibrations don't cause noise. And what you're gonna wanna do is push your, your sliders in here. You push them in and you get your caliper lined up. And get your slider bolts in. You might have to wiggle them a little bit. Before you tighten either of these, you're gonna wanna make sure they're both in there and hand threaded. If you tighten one, you may not be able to get the other one in. You do the same thing to the other side. And before you go anywhere, make sure you pump the brakes on the truck. You pump the brakes and create pressure before you go for a drive. Otherwise, you will have no brakes. That's all it took to change the brake pads on an Acti. If you enjoy how-to guides like this, go find some more on my channel. I have an Acti playlist that's strictly how-to guides for Acties. I also have sandbar guides. Like, subscribe. Thanks for joining us.